Ladies and gentlemen, nerds from all around the world unite today in Seattle for PAX Pride. Here we get the chance to play all sorts of video games, get all sorts of swag, and most importantly, play all sorts of StarCraft II games with the pros. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for none other than the trial of the Cell Naga! Oh my god, Husky! Oh my god, Sean! Mike, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Indeed. Yeah, indeed, Sean. Going to have to agree with you there. Indeed. Yeah, indeed, Sean. Going to have to agree with you there. Good. You have the power over them, but not as much power as you're going to have today, Sean. Oh, my God. In what regards, Mike Husky oh Lamond? You know, in what regards, now that I've been Mike able to Husky control Lamond. the player's fate you know? for one day, I'm really excited to be able to do it for two days. I kind of want to do this every day, but we can only do it for two. But today, the map is going to be different. And Sean, while there may be less nukes, there's going to be a lot of other hilariousness going on. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, in today's trial of the Zell Naga, each pro will be paired with one of you to face off on a seemingly ordinary StarCraft II map. But Indeed. no, superpowers have been given to you, the wonderful deciders of fate. The Zell Naga is your role today. You get to do such things as plant baneling minefields, give players mega infestors, or for instance, plant destructible rocks. Mm. Quite delighted to, uh, to, you know, see if the crowd is enthusiastic about it. Now, the most important thing, Mike, the crowd has their very own name overlay. That Ladies is and gentlemen, the most important thing. I'd like to introduce you to yourselves. You are the deciders of fate. And, oh, it's an overlay. Oh, oh. the deciders of fate indeed, right there. You all wonder what the Zelnaga looked like, and there they are. Wow, excellent. Wow. Woo. Okay. Wow. Well, that was great. And the instant the camera came back to us, they were like, yeah. Oh. It's exhausting cheering that much. They're going to be doing it a lot, a lot tonight, Mike. And in fact, there are multiple ways for people to participate. How do they participate if they're watching online? Oh, that is such a perfect question to ask, Sean. It's going to be at RedBullUSA.com forward slash land. You should all actually go mm -hmm. to the website right now because you can vote basically every four minutes and then sometimes Sean will throw it back and forth. But you can vote oh quite a bit. God. Oh, there's us like 20 seconds ago. Oh my, God. well, let's really, actually just. <laughs> I've really let, a, let myself go. That's. <laughs> and it's one of those moments where I almost partially hope that it's not muted. That they're just getting the audio loop Looped of us telling them go to RedBullUSA.com. RedBullUSA.com, it's subliminal showtime. It's like every time I stream, Sean mess that up every single time but again you can vote there basically every four minutes the audience gets uh, gets to participate as well that's right we're gonna do one brief demonstration where basically the crowd will have red and blue wristbands and we're gonna ask them questions coding it with red or blue and then we just ask and the crowd shows us so for instance get ready to queue it up is your favorite color red or blue give me a show of those color wristbands Ooh. and Mike, the Reds have it. <laughs> wow. I did do an online poll, and it won by, like, 54%. 54%. Wow, red. Demolishing blue in another close series. That's true. We cast everything. So, of course, Mike, I want to just uh, go ahead and talk a little bit about the schedule for today. It's fairly simple. Why don't you run us through it? Well, we are going to be having, well, the first match here at 8.30 is what we're aiming for, depending on how chatty we get today, Sean. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be following it up. Uh, that's going to be with Team In Control versus Team Select. And then at 9.30 is what we're aiming for. But we had, like, a game that took up that entire duration, just one yes. single one, about an hour long. But it is going to be Team Bomber versus Team Bling. And remember, it's only the second day. That is true. And of course, it is a three-day event. Basically, just show up at 8 and completely mess with the pros as much as possible. We're doing jungle today. Did fire yesterday. And the most extreme iteration of the map of all is tomorrow, the storm map. You know, the storm map is actually ridiculous. We're going to be seeing all the maps on the last day. But uh, if you watch the first day and you're like, eh, it's going to be the same thing day two, nope. Everything no. is completely different on this map. So Nooney figured out map number one, but it's not going to help him that much uh, 
Well, he's not playing today, so it's definitely not going to help him at all. But <laughs> anyways, if they were watching yesterday, yeah. it's a completely different map. It's a whole new world, Sean. That is true, and Aladdin was a good movie. Let's go ahead and take a look at the brackets for this event. For any of you who missed yesterday's action, we saw an unbelievably epic comeback by Team Illusion, managing to go two and one with Team White Raw. Noni narrowly defeating Machine two and one by virtue of being a badass at dodging nuclear missiles. Yeah, I say, he, he may have barely beat Machine, but he completely defeated the Zelnaga, even defeated Sean when you dropped like 12 nukes on him. He's just like, nuke. I tried to drop 12 nukes, and in his usual monotone Tyler fashion, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the gingerbread Protoss man. I hope that one sticks for a very long time. But of course, we are going to be doing the lower half of the bracket today. So the winners of that will uh, move on to face off at that bottom lower half. But uh, anyways, it's going to go all the way to a finals. That is true. And This isn't one of I those tournaments that stops in the semis. It's true. I hate those, man. <laughs> Leave you on edge. And you know, I think it's time to introduce the map. It's going to be the Zell Naga version of everyone's favorite map that is going to be removed from all pro tournament map pools soon. Taldarim Altar. Ah. <laughs> what? How is that? How is that in a tournament where everything's total BS? There it is, the jungle map, Taldarim Altar. But Mike, it's not just an ordinary Taldarim Altar. There's it looks ordinary, Sean. Well, that's Mike. That's an optical illusion. Okay. Go ahead and look at some of those abilities. Mike, let us know what's up. All right, so up at top, randable, destructible rocks. Did I say randable? It's just screw it. I did. We're going to roll with it. So randable rocks, baneling minefield, critter catastrophe, mutation pickups, mega infestors, gold minerals, and rampant workers. I don't know what any of that does. Yeah, and that's the best part because people will be voting for things they don't even know. It's like real politics. We, we can just end the night right there, and it was it's worth like, it, Sean. Yeah, yeah, and that's our show. But of course, as much as we could talk about it, why not just show you some videos of just a taste of the abilities that you'll get to unleash in today's trial of the Zell Naga. Baneling minefields are some of the most entertaining aspects of StarCraft II. So rather than wait for any one player to build them, why not spawn some neutral baneling minefields in the middle of the map? Any player who walks over them will find himself with quite the footache. Ever been interested in the true battle potential of the Karak? Well, wonder no longer for you are gifted with the ability to unleash a stampeding rampage of angry critters across the map, destroying any player in their path. Though players love the opportunity to destroy destructible rocks, they can't create them, but you can. You can create destructible rocks all over the map with ease, giving the players yet another treat. Another obstacle. Mike Husky Lamont, what did you think about those abilities? Uh, I know, I know I'm excited. Is, is everyone else out there? Are you guys happy to be here? God, they're they're no. even louder than yesterday. I'm actually kind of terrified. And I want to say, I think this is the first StarCraft event ever to equip the fans with desks, and it's terrifying. Yeah, you know, I was... <laughs> like, we're actually dying. Yeah, well, Ken, it's funny, because we... We have our very own LCD right here. For any of you who don't know the magic of doing live casting, we have an LCD so that way we can just sort of see what's going on, and you're pounding so hard that it's bowing and it's rippling the image. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna destroy our equipment, Mike. And also the desks and the entire room itself will be destroyed. Yeah. But it is all in the name of Esports. There yeah, it is. Pound on the I, desk. Show the. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! No! This is like some horrible flash game, <laughs> like where the objective is just hit the A and B keys as hard as you can. <laughs> well, you know, Mike, it's time to do some introductions. And who will we be introducing tonight? Oh, Sean. Who are we going to be introducing tonight? 
Well, we're going to find out after this quick break. We'll see you in a bit. Ah, little troll. We'll be back in a minute. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the trial of the Zell Naga. The crowd here today is appropriately apeshit for our purposes. But of course, as is the case in all tournament style events, excuse me, I've been drinking Red Bull. <laughs> All right, as in many tournaments, there are players who play against one another, and we're gonna do that too. Let's go ahead and introduce our first player who will be playing tonight. He is known by many to be the handsomest Terran in all the world, literally. From South Korea and residing in his hometown of Seattle. And now that I said that, I'm not actually sure that's his hometown, but he does live here now. The temporary resident of Seattle, none other than Dignitas's Select! Stand by me, Select. Congratulations on being invited by me to be here. Now, Select, I have to begin by asking, did you watch any of the trials that went on yesterday? Yeah, I saw the first game, Illusion versus White Wild, and I'm so excited to play this. Now that's, yeah, I heard one, woo! I like that attitude. Now, the important thing to note, Select, is that despite the fact that you are heralded as the pinnacle of Terran play, Remember, at an ordinary tournament, we like to have facts. This is the trial of the Zell Naga, where you are the pinnacle of Terran play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, right now, uh, uh, I'm even more uh, nervous than the playing real tournament. <laughs> because the quality of crowd is so good here. Yeah, I, I love it. Wow. We could put you on slash R slash off for karma. Now, the reason I bring this up is that you will not have as much control over your gameplay as normal. The crowd will decide your fate today. So is there anything you would like to say to them to convince them to be nice? Now I understand select a calculating person is actually thinking right now with 300 APM for the right words. In other words, I'm not going to let you get out of this. Select what, what one sentence would you like to say to inspire faith in you and the Zell Naga before you today? Let's have fun. Select. Can you give us a sub, son? Select would like to say one more thing. I think uh, I'm the king of the troller, and for people who watch my stream, they know how good I am in trolling games. Yeah, I'm gonna make uh, fun games. The king of trolls! Now, audience, I know I gave some of you playing cards. Who has their playing cards? Anyone? Anyone get dealt a playing card and somehow lose it? I do that all the time with my parking tickets. I would like whoever is the nine of diamonds to come on down because you've been selected! Well, hello, hello, I'm Sean. Tyler, please, please stand here. Tyler. Well, let me pretend I don't know who you are. My God, you have been chosen by fate in that card that I gave you. What is your name and where are you from? I'm Tyler and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada. That's so... Are there any fans of Canada here? Now, Tyler... Boo. 
I hate what Canada did to me that one time they made a TV show that got canceled in season three. That's actually the worst I can think of, honestly. And even then, all Canadians are like, I'm sorry, I feel bad. I... So Tyler, now that you are Select's partner in crime and number one fan, is there anything you'd like to say to the audience before we get started? I'm really glad that there are no nukes today. Well spoken, Tyler Kyung Hyun, AKA Select, AKA the King of Trolling. I would like to present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Team Dignitas Select. And this is not one of those weird tournaments where there's one player. We, in fact, have an opponent today who will be going up against Dignitas Select. He is one of the jack-of-all-trade men in the world of StarCraft. Casting, playing, those are really the two things you can do in StarCraft. And he does them both brilliantly. A native of Seattle, Washington. It is none other than Evil Geniuses in control! <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, shake my hand. EG always so shameful with those plugs, now sponsored by water. Now, Jeff, you have been a talented player, commentator, and now guinea pig. Are you excited to be one of the chosen who will get totally messed with in the series of games today? It could be the cold water or it's the excitement, but my nipples are hard. Well. I can confirm it's one of those two, Jeff. I heard someone say my name and everyone laughed and I think I'm the only one who didn't get it, Jeff. But that's okay because I have the mic and the power. Now, Jeff, uh, did you get a chance to witness some of the games yesterday where your teammate EG Machine played? And if so, what's your strategy going into this series? Um, no, I didn't get to watch any, but Machine was mumbling something about how it's bullshit and he had no control and like, <laughs> and he said they're coming after you. Apparently people on the forums are like, let's get in control. So it's like, uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> now, when, when Machine came to you upset, how happy did it make you? Oh, that, that always makes us happy. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the last and most important question, what will you say to those who will decide your fate to sway them to your favor? If you guys help me win, I will tell you whether or not Stefano has come to EG. <laughs> I bet he didn't and you just want to win. That would be awesome. <laughs> and of course, Jeff, I understand you won't be playing alone today because I created the format. Now there is one player out there. He's holding a card that is red. It is, uh, it's unfortunately not the three. Let's break a little tension right now, but let's increase it again. The nine of hearts. Oh, yes, yes, the teammate of Jeffrey in control, Robinson. Yes, hello, welcome. Hello, I am Sean. I introduce you to your teammate. Now, I have to... I have to, <laughs> I have to ask right off the bat to introduce yourself. What is your name, and from where do you hail? Uh, my name is my name is Chris. Uh, I go by Sassifer online, and I come from Boston, but originally Seattle. Oh! The two people born and raised on the streets of Seattle join today. And of course, now for any of you who were live, you know this story. You were here live for it. But for any who are online, how did you manage to get that card? Um, Day9 asked for the most polite uh, hand waving. And, and I did something like... 
was because everyone was like, oh, like that one kid who knows the answer, but he always raises his hand, and the teacher's like, anyone else, please, anyone? And the most polite person. It was all my self-control. <laughs> what remarkable self-control you have, and of course, with this self-control, you now have the fate of the world before you. Would you like to say any words to them? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, indeed, because we are going to potentially ruin lives today, ladies and gentlemen. Team in control! <laughs> Players, it's time to shake hands and get into the match. Let's go ahead, seriously, shake hands. Let's, like, get the manner. Yes, yes, eSports. People are... My God, the glares of intensity are literally happening. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to get ready. Into match number one, are you ready? <laughs> then let's do it. And with that calling, it's time for Mike and I to sit down in our respective mega casting booths. It's time for the wonderful Rosens to get their teams set up and in the appropriate colors. And once that happens, I will be inviting them in game. For total devastation, I gotta ask Mike, what did you think about those pre-game interview comments so important as big predictors for this match? Both of them are huge fan favorites. There we go. And I, I don't know quite what to expect, but I'm hoping there's a lot of smack talk in chat. I know that yep. Control likes to do that. I don't know if Select, he seems, yep. he seems like a nice guy. You, you know him. Would he smack talk people? Or is well, he, well. Because he's got to work on a stare down. That's well, yeah, yeah, because Select, anytime I, I'm like, Select look angry. He's like. <laughs> Seriously, every time I'm like at a dinner or a lunch or some sort of meal i don't have to list off all of them anytime someone says a joke select doesn't laugh he literally just goes <laughs> it's like the 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 look of pure elation on his face but i'm curious have you ever watched select's stream mike has anyone here watched select stream i i tend to cast more games than i do watch streams but i have indeed watched both and he's sick good his multitasking is ridiculous mm -hmm. But I've never seen him have to dodge like 38 storms at a time throughout the entire map, including his mineral line, his army, his natural, and his main. That's what Noni did. <laughs> that was remarkable. But you know, what's, uh, what's interesting to me is the fact that Select, after he's had a long series of ladder wins back to back to back, he, he doesn't lose. Tell me more. God, I love Select. Oh, is that the end of the story? No. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just me being like select so good but uh he trolls at the end of his streams he'll do things like defend and only kill uh the opponents with nukes it was so good that it became a fun day monday topic uh he does things like tries to kill his opponent with uh thor a uh, thor uh thor okay dropping one thor and 24 scbs <laughs> and then he can right click auto repair and terrans have self micro at that point you just go to the bathroom at that point and come back to a victory. Mm-hmm. It's great. <laughs> and of course we have In Control Robinson. Or Jeffrey In Control Robinson. He didn't change his name. That would be that would be intense. <laughs> this is this is my son in control, literally. It's on his birth certificate. His parents would be so proud. <laughs> his parents would have named him that, wouldn't they, in this story? In this hypothetical story where his parents are total asses. <laughs> Now, tell me a little bit about how, how Jeff likes to, to use his popularity to his advantage in-game. That's all he's going to be doing here. He was totally having it up, Sean. He's already hammed it up. He poured water on himself. I'm waiting for him to rip off the shirt after his first victory. Wow. That's, I, w I had fingers crossed. I wasn't able to talk to him before, but he heard that. God, I real I I I want to see that because I remember once I tried to be a badass, grab my shirt and rip it it's off. It's not as easy as you think. Yeah, I just stretched the fabric and kind of had these saggy <laughs> flaps that just sort of hung down. 
and it wasn't nearly as cool. But fortunately, I was all alone in my room, so no one saw. But that also means I was all alone in my room trying this. I was going to say, what, what situation leads to you being in your room attempting that? You'd think it was something epic, but it was just me sort of sitting, watching Game of StarCraft idly. <laughs> Surprise. And I thought, I wonder if I can tear my shirt off. <laughs> nope. As it turns out, I wasn't equipped to do it. So we will be inviting them uh, to uh, the map that will be uh, Taldarine. That's a good start. And, uh, of course, you know what Select did? Is he trolling you right now? Select turned on that thing that doesn't allow anyone who isn't on his friends list to invite him. <laughs> Turn it off, Select. Let's go ahead and re-invite him to the game. So yeah, tell us a little bit about, about, uh, about the map that we're about to be seeing, Taldarine Altar. Ah. Uh. Now, normally, a lot of people would complain about this map. I've heard, I've read many YouTube comments, given they complain about everything, but especially this map. But there's, there's a lot different about this map. Of course, if you watched last night, you kind of know what's going on. But for those of you who may not have heard, every single ability is different. And I was very adamant about not wanting to watch the abilities before the game, so I'm yes. going to be learning it with you. You have a little bit more experience with it, but there's going to be a lot of banelings. I'm hoping people just keep voting for Destructible Rocks so nothing ever happens. Did you ever play that map? On Warcraft 2, where you spawn and the whole map is critters. Yeah, I did! It was awesome! It was almost as cool as the old Brood War map Chrysalis that was covered in minerals. You had to mine your way to your opponent's base. Karen is completely overpowered on that map. You make one siege tank and you win. Well, let's be honest, Mike. On what map isn't Terran overpowered on? Oh! That was great. You know, we actually had to make hand motions to the crowd, because when I said that, most people were like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Both players ready? Now, yesterday, it was the map of destruction, a map of chaos. Now we're in the jungle. We're in the jungle. It's, the theme is going to be growth. Ex fungal explosions. growth. <laughs> yeah, fungal growth. Fungal growth, banelings, destructible rocks, Dignitas Select is ready. In control. Are you ready, my friend? Oh, in control, being as participatory as you have been. Yes, Jeff, yeah. He can't hear me now. He has soundproof headphones on. And All control's right. also like, I don't want in-game audio, so. Well, it's time to get started in three, two, one. The countdown has begun. <laughs> Should have worn a black shirt, Mike. Why do you think I wear the hoodie? That's a great point. Oh, I wow. could run 10 miles. That would never happen, but you could never tell. You could run 10 miles, Mike. You're a runner. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it oh, is now God, time the game. to step into the first ever jungle trial of the Zell Naga. Ladies and gentlemen, let us introduce our players. <laughs> in the top left corner. Spawning as the blue Protoss. It is Evil Geniuses in control. And his ally going to be up in the top right side. Hang on, Sean. We have to look at his ally. Or is his ally in the bottom left? Yeah, yeah. His ally oh, I'm sorry. Blue. I'm confused. It is going to be Sastifer. Yeah! <laughs> and they are going to be going up against. Down the bottom right side, it is going to be for Team Select. It is Dignitas Select. And in the top right, the account that we're using for this event. He was here yesterday. It's going to be Reason. So it looks like, oh my god, Reason starting off with an early pool. Uh, pretty standard style of play because I, was this the guy who said he was masters in 2v2? <laughs> that's what it looks like. Seems as that's exactly what you do is you just make a lot of zerglings with plus one and you win. But either way, make sure guys, the very first vote is already underway at RedBullUSA.com forward slash LAN. If you're uh -huh. not there already, then your only excuse is that you're at the event. Unless That's it. And I see a lot of people on their cell phone, so they're probably still actually on the website as well. Yeah, people, I show up to an event to check out my cell phone. Well, I guess that's kind of the standard maneuver for pretty much everyone nowadays. This is uh, one of the interesting pathfinding bits, Select actually taking the shorter path, while Sastafer's SCV is sort of voluntarily going along the longer path. See, Select going to do a little bit of early scouting, but the real danger right now is that Reason is already making Zerglings. 
And it's going to be two right now. Does he follow it up with any more? As uh, remember that the first the first vote takes place so soon that it's basically impossible to prepare for it. That because is Because you're only going to have one or two Marines at around that uh, four-minute mark. Maybe he's going to be teching up just a little bit. What is in control doing? Looks like he's going to be throwing down the cyber core at the entrance, following it up with the gateway here. Which, uh, I, I don't know the strategy at all, but maybe when there's 10,000 critters running at you, you can just wall in and that'll send them to your allies' base like we saw Nooney do quite a lot. That's true. You, you like to zone the Karax, Mike. This is a common strategy when playing a series where everything is, let's be honest, total BS. And now, I want everyone to know what that online vote was. The question was, how many times shall I hit the random destructible rocks button? Yes! Once, twice, or three times, and I'm not going to be surprised with the results in the slightest, Mike. It's got to be like, should we drop one nuke or eight? And eight wins with 96% of the vote every time. The other 4% is a misclick. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting the other 4% is some modest person drinking room temperature water, sipping it slowly, eating an olive. Just drop one. That'll be just right. That's just enough. In control now, getting the double stalker up. Let's go ahead and see the results of that online poll. Oh, I can't wait for this. Oh, this I can't wait. Awesome. It looks like, well, three times. All right. Ro oh, oh, let's just let him know it rocks. Sean, coming. it's time to rock. <laughs> oh! All right. I'll just Once. I'll just leave. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, God, that's... Two. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Are his mules trapped? <laughs> LOL, OL, OL. And three. And... Oh! Very unfortunate. Basically everything is... Is that three? There's like three destructible rocks at that expansion now? Well, in controls walled in, so this is actually... It's like those beginner maps that you get when you first play StarCraft. Yeah, we like turned it back into the practice league. So he is going to decide to break those down right away. And uh, keep in mind, the bottom two players were most affected by this, I would say, which yeah. uh, is really going to be favoring, I would say, yeah. team in control because, well, he's not really affected by it whatsoever. Those Marines have to work on those for quite a while. How much HP do they have? Do they still have 2,000? Is that, yep. They have 2,000. These have three armor. They're a little yeah. bit more bolstier. It's a good thing that Sastafer didn't do a one barracks early expand. Otherwise, if he got attacked, he'd just have to sit there and lose his natural. Indeed, does look like select. Oh. Ah. It's a, it's, is this going to be, is this an expansion, Mike? It doesn't look like one, Sean, as it may be a little too far out in the center of the map for that. But does he have an engineering bay? Is he going to try? Yes, oh down it goes right there. God. You do say that he trolls a lot, and maybe he has this build down. Oh, but no. control says, I just want to end this now. He's got to be attacking him on the top right side. And oh remember, my the next is going to be done in a minute, so can he actually do the damage he needs to here? Now, audience, I need to know, if you want to save him, we're about to have a vote incoming. Re hold on, on live audience. Just relax. If you want to save him, I'm going to ask you to hold up red. If you want him to die, I'm going to ask you to hold up blue. Let's get a look at the crowd. Oh, that is so much red. That is 100% red, Sean. Oh, my God. It's totally red. That's Bless so much red. All right. Hold on. Global. We're going to give him some rampant workers. Oh, workers. No. What does that even do? 50 damage workers, 400 life. Oh my god! <laughs> and they mined the entire mineral patch in only one trip. I'm just kidding. And as we're continuing right along, select. Continue to push. Uh oh. Oh, he's got the workers as well. This trolling is going to be so much more effective. How long does it last? It lasts for a minute and a half. Uh oh. Look, we have another minute and 20 seconds remaining. Select getting ready to do the planetary fortress drop, but he's got to be careful. Right now, in controls, workers are just mega strong, and they will be that way for quite a long time. All right, here he goes right there. In control, going to be pulling them off first here, but it is going to be landing now inside the main base. You can see that SCP is going to town on the cybernetics core here, and uh, <laughs> there we go. He's going to be landing it right there. Does he upgrade into a planetary? Not quite yet. In control is going to be chasing us down with these probes. Workers have never seemed so terrifying. The planetary fortress is going to be on the way. Does the control attack with the probes? We have Rage Workers versus Rage Workers. They could probably oh focus on that God. planetary in like two seconds. But we are about to find out. Take a look at Oh, my God. Almost two shot it. Oh, my God. But it looks like Sastafer starting to join in, trying to save his ally. But these workers are so powerful, they're one-shotting everything. 
Zerg is going to be joining the fight here as well. Duke is the traffic guy trying to stem and run away. The awkward moment where where do you land this? He decides he's going to continue landing it inside the main base. One second left on the ramp of workers, which means that maybe he can pull this off when there's no units here to actually bring it towards this right now. All right, select. He's good, but is he good enough? He's trying to step into action. Select desperately wants to land this or maybe expand. I'm not sure. He's control doing the 4 gate. Sell it century mixture. Or he can just use it as the most expensive scout of all time. As it does look at this, he's going to be chasing this now. He is going to back out here for now. But look at the production. He has quite a bit going oh. on, including that planetary. Once again, in control says no. The one cell right. got to go slicing away here. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the online audience's next poll. They wanted to plant some burrowed banelings. All this action's heating up, and it's time to find out where they wanted that to go down. So we see Reason taking up his natural expansion. We see also Select having to retreat. Things are looking quite close at this point in time. Yeah, just waiting for the poll to see exactly how it's going to work out. But right now, Sassin for intercepting some of the reinforcements. Able to kill off a few of Select's units here. More are going to be streaming down there here. And uh, to try and continue putting out the pressure. Although Select still has those destructible rocks outside of his natural. Goes ahead and takes that fourth base up here. Because why not? <laughs> I hope he morphs into a planetary fortress anyways. Like, huh, I finally like, did it. I did it, guys. That's like that moment where after you completely died to the Dark Templar, you say, well, let me build a missile turret. Let me make sure <laughs> that if that happens again, I am prepared after the fact. Expansion's going down in control. Uh-oh. In control had a suspicion, but he still needs to worry about the planetary push. Select really wants this to work, but at the same time, the Zelts are going to be attacking the top right side again. Select runs up here with the Marines of Rars to attempt to clean these ones out. And it looks like that is going to be a success. Now the Spire is going to be on the way, but he doesn't have that much income right here. As he's lost his natural, he lost a lot of drones in the main base. And the planetary isn't going to be on the way just yet. Nope. This, 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 he's having to work having, for this one. He's having a lot of trouble with this. And you know what we've been seeing? We've been seeing a lot of action. I want to ask the live audience, do we want to put burrowed Baneling minefields in the front of their naturals, or we, do we want to put them by the Zelnaga watchtowers? Natural is red, Zelnaga watchtower is blue. Give me a show of hands. Very favorable to red shot. That's... Is that, that's I said Zelnaga, red. right? I, I forget. We're, okay. Naturals. All right, thank, thank goodness you guys are here. Let's go ahead and just drop a... Bainley Minefield, that's good. That is a ridiculous amount of Bainley. Well, oh, might as well go ahead and drop some of those right here. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do this quickly because action's about to heat up. All right, now remember, you can see him on the mini-map. Oh, no. That's not where you want to go. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh. And underneath they go. Now keep in mind that the Bainlings, oh, there's the scan right there. He's got to try and clean these out, realizing he needs to kill all of them immediately if he can. Can he get every single one during oh, the full yes. duration of the scan? And he is! Gets every single oh. one of the scan on the left side as well. Oh, but the misclick! Oh! Doesn't take that much damage here. Doesn't pick up the one remaining scan. He's got to go ahead and clean those ones up. Looks like uh, some of the Bainlings chasing some Speedlings, but how far will they go? I have no, I have no, okay, not that far. They're going to go ahead and reset there. The Zergling's able to escape there very well. And control is going to have to be careful, though, because he doesn't have scan. Yeah, I mean, this is this is looking a lot like how I clear out Baneling Minefields. Wait a minute. These Banelings don't have detection. When behind? When behind? Very good. And it looks like in control is going to be sweeping on in. There's no detection. Live audience, do we want to give this man detection? Wow, they hate this guy. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's someone that, if he doesn't have detection, well, that's his own fault. It's kind of like in StarCraft 1 where they spawned with detection. Looks like he's continuing to kill things off. And you know what? The online audience also wanted to do a little bit of voting on where to plant those Baneling minefields. Let's find out where they decided for those to go down as this 1DT finally kills it off. It looks like, well, they also voted for the exit to the natural expansion. Well, no big deal. I can handle this. All right, and you know what? Oh, the pro's trying to make it out there. Well, nope, not. Oh, he does. Let's just make it a little bigger around here. And let's. Now, the thing is that it's all about framing because notice how someone online is saying, My God, why does Day 9 hate in control? And there's another person going, Wow, oh, Day 9 feels really bad for that reason guy, and he's trying to protect him with Banelings. And to both of you, I say, 
Dude, I just want to see Banelings explode. Yeah. It's a very fun button to press. As the Beatles now going to be harassing here just a little yeah. bit. Oh, oh. select. That, that's all I can well. say is oh, select. Be careful here. Tries to micro, but the AI is going to be too good. I got to say, these. Oh, God. Here he goes right now with the scan. He doesn't have enough units right now to uh, clean that up. The Beatles going to be uh, to attempt to help out here. Well, maybe he will. <laughs> it's oh, oh, no! oh, my so God. Close. That was terrifying. I actually literally went. Ah! Now it looks what, like. What does In Control have at his base? I feel like. Okay, he's got some units here. He has a modest serving of units. It looks like our good friend Sastifer. <laughs> it looks like he encountered some Banelings very recently. In Control is going to be working away there for quite some time. The manor scan goes down. In Control says, no. No, I know they're there. <laughs> oh, he's trying oh. to kite them over there, but they only last for so long. That is right. The Banelings do get a little bit bored. They are kind of like creeps in Diablo. Oh, oh, oh there oh. we go. There we go. But can oh he my. actually drag him all the way over there? He's gonna try. He's, he keeps trying to re-aggro them, but nope, this is not gonna happen. He's trying to go for the drag. A little bit disappointing. But you know what? I think it was a good attempt. We saw some nice demon drags yesterday, Mike. It looks like In Control's taking out his destructible rocks, after which he's going to go ahead and take out these destructible rocks. And uh, followed up with more destructible rocks down there, especially I don't know if that's going to be a voting option later, but he will actually but be able to expand with their base. Let's be honest, I like destructible rocks, so let's just... Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> good. That worked out. That worked out very well for In Control there. Hey Mike, hey Mike, watch this. I'm a Zell Naga. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I don't get oh, it. what? Where's the nuke? And these are not controlled by Day9. They are actually gonna be inside the main base. That is near the depots though. The SCV is getting mined uh -oh. out of minerals, so if the AI sends them over there, it doesn't look like it will be. Oh, so but down it goes and takes out a depot or two as well as the add-on. But uh, or the refinery, excuse me, not gonna be doing that much damage. Another nuke gotta be thrown down here, but where is it at? Where's it at, Day9? I literally have no idea, Husky Starcraft. Uh-oh. Oh, he does take it out right there. And Control says, when I can see you. <laughs> he's not typing. What? Well, well, he's going to finish that thought later on. Until that point in time, it looks like the online audience wanted to give a vote for how to spice things up a little bit as Select is doing the invasion. It will sue it, which is... Yes, Critter Catastrophe. Sean, I don't know what that means, but it has the word critter and catastrophe. So I'm well, going to be... And they don't activate the Baneling landmines either. That is true. In fact, they work in close conjunction with the critter catastrophe. All right, and Control's doing a good job of cleaning these out. Looks like he's just going to be going for a big death ball. But here comes the critters right now, and they are going to be taking out the pylons. Doing a, a, a decent bit of damage, but the critter numbers are fairly small at this point in time in the game. No, I... I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't make more happen. I'm sorry. Now keep in mind, it does go for three minutes. We'll see how many it sends. The waves look like they're getting bigger here. In control trying to blink micro versus the uh -oh. critters. Mainly does a little bit. In control <laughs> saying Jurassic Park. Well, it looks like at this point in the game, it looks like why another movie? Because Steven Spielberg loves money. And as they continue to roll in, in control is literally dealing primarily with units that don't belong to any player in this game. Like, yes. He's been able to deal a lot of damage to the rocks, a lot of damage to the critters and the banelings. Does look like they have finally cleaned this up. There's still a minute and a half left in the critter catastrophe. But they are a melee unit, so they're unable to do that much damage. In control has finally cleaned it out in the center. So we should see them need each other here pretty soon. Pulling off more and more of the critters. In control gonna be pushing out towards the top right side. But keep in well, mind he's I only mean, halfway there. I mean, this is going to be no problem. This is like one of those turret defense games where you just build a lot of turrets and you're like, I'm the man. I mean, it looks like the Karaks are doing a good bit of damage. They can actually slip by the rocks. It's going to take select and reason a little bit of distraction time to be able to deal the damage that they need. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and clear him up. He's controlling as best he can. The Banelings, though, are randomly mixed in with those critters. You have to be careful not to use the Kaboom Man. Here comes the Banelings rolling up right there. Not going to happen, though. As he does clean those out, some Banelings right there. I've got to be careful. Continuing to move out, but right now these players are a little bit on the defensive. But you know what, Mike? I, I have an idea. The, the audience the audience said something out loud that, that really... Oh, select. Moving out. Banelings locked. 
Well, he's got to let the Zelts get up in front. He is trying to blink out as best he can. The Zelts do manage to slip on through right now, and it looks like A Control might be able to hold this off on his own without randomly oh. placing structural rocks. Now, now there's a word that I heard you use, audience, when you heard the critter count was a little low. And what was that word? Is that something? Now we're you able know to what? I, I'm gonna hit this button, but there's something else special that's gonna be uh, happening in about a minute. Uh, oh, select. Oh no. Okay. Oh okay. no. Okay. Before we look at the online poll, this we want to look at this. This is as good as the first day. Here it goes. Oh, he did not want oh, any of those oh. STVs. Down it goes. Select laughing over in the corner. He quite enjoyed look that nuke. Look at this happy Korean man to my left. Now, online poll, you wanted to throw another wrench into the mix. What would that wrench be, dear online viewers, as we see Select? Still just trying to defend Reason as best he can, and it looks like Red is lucky. Mega Investors for Team Blue. Wow, Mega Investors. Let's go ahead and give them. He could definitely use that after losing all those SCVs. All right, down they go. I don't know if they actually know what they do, but let's take a look here at the Mega Infestors. They do spawn inside the main base. Now keep in mind, these are no regular Infestors. They have infinite range neural parasite and huge fungals. So you can actually mind control a worker from their main base if you have the vision. Now, I also want to do something a little bit nice. I'm actually going to disable the ability for units to attack. So right now, these critters are suddenly going to be a little bit more threatening as they're going to start building up in number. Oh, no, and he also has those banelings chilling out right there. Does decide to open up that entrance here. But we have a minute and a half on silence. Critter catastrophe is over. Somehow, no, uh -oh. the critters, they don't oh, even the care, critters. Sean. Oh, no. They don't even care. Oh, my God. The, it, a true critter catastrophe is finally happening. They Looks actually like cannot kill us up. Some of them are attacking, some of them are not. Select, not realizing. And look at how happy I am. Oh, God. Oh, oh can they attack? select! Oh! They can't, they can't attack. actually do anything. <laughs> <laughs> select is completely trapped here. But the critters are going to be killing off the SCVs there. Well, They've killed like the hatchery now. We have five seconds left on the critter catastrophe. But we also have 30 seconds. Oh! oh. Was okay, they disappeared. So we, we didn't quite time that correctly. But he is going to go ahead and dance these units on top of the main lanes because he might as well. They are stuck there. What is going on, Mike? I'll never know. Looks like uh, in control with his mega infestors. infestors. The hero festers starting to step into the action. And the real question is, <laughs> who is ahead and who's behind? I'll never know. It looks like uh, both players just sort of generally spreading out. But we do have a battle cruiser on the way, and I feel like that'd be a good time to use that infinite range neural parasite because as if battle cruisers weren't bad enough, now they go to your opponent as soon as you make them. <laughs> I'm really excited to see that kick into action. If we actually go ahead and step to the resource tab, we see that. Oh, oh! Looks like in control. Use that infinite range neural parasite. Now he's gonna be killing select with his own battle cruisers here. Not a whole lot he can actually do about that as the Neural Parasite does last for quite some time. You wait for it to run out just to get mind controlled again. Select saying that is definitely BM, and I am inclined to agree. Taking things out one at a time now. Looks like Select in a little bit of trouble. Things are getting a little bit hairy, but it looks like Select is going to counterattack. I heard a nuke go off. I found I'm it. sure we all did. Gonna be placed right there. He needs to make sure not to lose all of his own units here. Ink Control's gonna go ahead and back out, keep it on the SCVs. Does manage to get the cancel off there. Realizing that Ink Control is not gonna bite right now. This is not looking good for Ink Control, because really, what can he do? Oh my god, Select requests some help. Well, I don't even need to do the polls. They don't want him to have any help, Mike. They want Select to die. Well, he very well may, although we are coming up here on another poll pretty soon, I do believe, as the Marines are going to be marching out here, this is a huge, huge army. I don't think Select's going to really have anything to be able to deal with it. He does have a couple of battle crews, but they could just get Nero Parasite. And once again, down goes one, down goes the second one almost immediately here. Not a whole lot that Select can do, but cross his fingers and pray. Oh, my God. Team in control doing amazing. The last vote was about destroying the opponent's worker line with Baneling. Let's find out if that's what they wanted to do or not. Tough though, because Select doesn't have a whole lot left here. So even if his opponent has no 
SCVs or workers, it doesn't really matter. Oh, please. Going to attempt to be doing that. We'll see if he actually manages oh. to pull that one off here. That would be huge, but at the same time, it looks like he's going to go ahead and dodge these dudes just fine. Well. Not going to be taking advantage here. And well. they want both pro players to lose their mineral lines. Not that Select oh, has wait. mineral lines. Did I hear that they wanted Select to lose his mineral line? Is that right? Oh, I think okay. that was correct. Well. All right. They don't even decide to go for buildings. Well, that was still totally kick-ass. That's kind of like the nuclear missile of this map, Husky, except there's really nothing you can do about it. it looks like these Banelings are still doing their own thing. <laughs> actually been there pretty much all game long. And Select says, good GG. game. Team in control wins. Now, now Sean, I want to say, oh, in control goes over there. He's going to say GG. Oh my god. Mike, what happened? I was looking at you. I was looking at you as well. Select, can I ask, what did Jeff just do? <laughs> he says, he just trolled me. Now select, I'm kind of curious to see, is he going to go for ridiculousness again, or is it going to be super try-hard mode, like the first game I play on ladder and then I lose, and I'm like, well, that's enough. <laughs> it's like, well, I was just having a session for fun anyway, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mess around, and then two games later, you're like, I'm gonna cheese this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what, let's be honest, I sit down in game number one, and I'm like, I'm gonna cheese this piece of shit. <laughs> You are the epitome of the North American server shot. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now, 